makes me a distinct expert on this Irish topic of drinking, because Russian drinking skills and Irish drinking skills are very, very similar. Yes. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Irish have a training wheels on in comparison to Russia. However, you also may know there is a no real known Russian drinking song. You may say gross before you get shot. It's about it. it. Mainly this is because Americans cannot speak Russian. They sound like babies sing their first words. <laughs> it's true. Try it. Uh, luckily, though, the Irish always drunk, always drinking, always singing. So there's lots of songs from them. Holy crap, is there a lot of rough Irish drinking songs? You may know this, yes? Yeah. Google, oh, you're Russian. You sound yes. Russian. <laughs> yes, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of them. One of these songs that will probably be pounded into your soul by the end of the day, if it is not already. Known as, what do you do with a drunken sailor? Yes, you have heard this. We are going to examine that song. Address the question it poses. Answer the question it poses. Right now, after I loaded this tape, into the latest Russian technology. <laughs> this song goes. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Now wait, there's one more. Because the Irish love pounded these drunken questions and ideas into your brain. What do you do with a drunken sailor? Now, the answer to this question, very simple, very at the same time, but all simple, simple things. First, you can rob him. <laughs> this is easy, easy yeah. to do. Because the Irish drunken sailors are like bushy bags of alcohol. But just ask Ryan McGinnis. <laughs> Holy crap. They're terrible. I write this down because I forget. It's either a lot. Anyway, you can do, as I said, now you can do almost anything, though, with a Russian drunken sailor without Russian. We are both permanent. But the Irish? Oh, anything. Anything except have sex with it. There is a reason for this. Well, the Irish love whiskey. Whiskey dick loves the Irish. <laughs> next, this song, next, this song goes up. Early in the morning. Do you think this changes anything? It should be. No. You know why? It does not say how early in the morning. It's 12 1 a.m. That's morning, but that's also early last night for me. And the most people I would think. Now, if it is, uh, you can always, at this point, tell the drunk that he promised to buy you and all of your friends drinks. You take him to the bar, he gets you drunk, and if you are lucky, you can milk him for breakfast. What part of him you milk for breakfast is up to you. <laughs> and if the sailor is to pass out, even better, you just leave him at the roach for Susie to take care of. <laughs> so it continues with the most nonsensical thing you can imagine. Way, hey, let's rise, way, hey, let's rise, way, hey, let's rise, sir. supposed to be? I don't know. Way hey, up she rises. Was she down? We don't know. And they don't tell us. Next comes another one. Yes, another lyric yet. Again repeated three times just in case you were drunk when hearing it and needed pounded into your soul. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. I will lie in the morning. Let it drown in the icy waters. 
Our song continues after this, however. Going on to what? This. Put him in the hole with the captain's daughter. Put him in the hole with the captain's daughter. Put him in the hole with the captain's daughter. Put him in the hole with the captain's daughter. Lie in the morning. Did you hear that? Put him yeah. in the hole with the captain's daughter. Who the hell wants drunken babies? <laughs> My God. I suppose if it's an Irish drunk, it's not so dangerous because of the whiskey dick. But if it's a Russian drunken sailor, she can go in the, the, the captain's daughter will look like Octomom. <laughs> but you feed it over and over and over again. Even hiring Casey Anthony for a babysitter will not keep the child house down. <laughs> it's not my fault you Americans produce people like that. <laughs> The song then repeats again the whole what to do with drunken sailor, yada, 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 and the next suggests something entirely stupid, too. Put him in the back of the paddy wagon, put him in the back of the paddy wagon, put him in the back of the paddy wagon. Put him in the back of the paddy wagon. What connection does drinking and a wagon full of maxi pads have? <laughs> oh, sure, he can sleep more comfortably, but what the hell good does this do? Luckily, the song has more stupid ideas to follow. This one, for Golden. Throw him in the lock up till he's sober. Throw him in the lock up till he's sober. Throw him in the lock up till he's sober. I'm in the morning. Put him in the lock up until he is sober. What the hell kind of idea is that? Sailors are at their best when they are drunk. No matter where they are from. Haven't these songwriters ever heard of pirates? We don't throw drunken policemen on a boat to sober up, do we? No, we don't. Instead, we should put him on his boat, make him do his sailor thing, and he falls off and drowns, he falls off and drowns. It's occupational hazard, just like it is to be Lindsay Lohan in a NASCAR race. <laughs> Let him sleep it off fast first on a dark road behind the dumpster in his own field like Roger Flory. Drunken sailors in Russia would be ashamed to hear of this song. I am all at your pocket, and that is enough of that, I think. I thank you for seeing me, and uh, well, I hope you enjoy your St. Patrick's Day of partying and slurring an entire nationality. <laughs> perhaps next year, oh no, perhaps next year we can have a day where we drink lots of coffee in honor of Columbia. And then a busload of cocaine in honor of Columbia. We could call it Columbus Day. Yeah.